You know, dirty trucking. About to tell you another lie this same guy told. And went and told the boss. A couple of weeks back, I come in. First load. Got up to the tipper. Went to go on tarp. My tarp pole gone. Where's my tarp pole? Message the boss. Where's my tarp pole? Who take the tarp pole off the off the trailer? That's what you got to shop for. You got to shop to go in there and ask if you need a tarp pole. Don't take a tarp pole off a damn loaded trailer. You see it's tarped. And I don't know if I was still hooked to it. If my truck was hooked to it or I was still using the other guy's truck and it was just sitting there. But the trailer is tarped. That's what they don't do. They don't ask before they go taking shit. They be taking loading trailers. Don't get permission. Taking something somebody else loaded. Then when somebody else come in and want to do the same thing, they can't do it. Because they ain't got them same special privileges. Anyway, tarp pole came up missing, so I couldn't untarp. So I had to tarp, dump the trailer, tarped at the tipper. And I don't like doing that. I actually untarp. I am one of the drivers that go up there and untarp every load. It's only a few instances I don't untarp. Is if I know something up there that's going to hang that tarp up or I can't get it unrolled and it's going to wrap up up in there and I got to roll it back and tarp it and let it dump, then I untarp it. But there's rare occasions that happen. So I'm to message the boss about this. I don't want we get you another one. I don't, I, don't, I don't want another one. I had one. Where's mine? Who took mine? And that was another thing. They were going around taking shit out of my truck. Took my fifth wheel puller one day. Switched the fifth wheel puller. One day it was the boss that changed the fifth, fifth wheel puller. Now, I don't intentionally take shit out of somebody else's truck. Now, recently, I did have an incident where I ended up throwing away a driver's helmet and stuff because when they let me use that truck, again, this was the truck of a deceased driver. The driver that was on the news, that was a news story here in Detroit. He was the Good Samaritan that got killed trying to stop some guys from running from the scene that broadsided a young lady with kids in the car. He was one of our drivers. So when the boss told me to use his truck while my truck was in the shop being repaired, I got in there thinking that the items in there was of the deceased driver. And accidentally, well, it ended up throwing them away. And then I got a message from the driver that came in that actually drives it. And I had to uh, explain to him I thought it was a deceased driver. My apologies. And we went on from there. That's the only time I've actually taken something out of somebody else's truck. But like I said, I thought it was a deceased driver's belongings. Because they said that was his truck. And then it was locked, so I thought it was his truck. Shit, hell, I didn't really realize somebody was driving it. My mind was it was on the deceased driver's truck. So when I seen those things in there, I said, dang, it's still, still in here. So I just tossed it out. But back to the story. Where the liar... The one that caused this altercation two days ago. I get back to the yard. I see him coming out of the area where the boss is. Now, he done went in there and just told the boss some bullshit. I mean, I mentioned about the tarp pole. No, I mentioned about the tarp pole. He caught me outside, the liar. About, I, I watched you drive out of here without it the other day. The fuck you talking about? I didn't drive out of here without nothing. I tarped my trailer and the pole was on the side of the trailer. See, this is how this guy lies. He went and told the boss that lie. So after he told me that, I walked in and asked him. I said, Will just told me uh, that I suppose they drove out of here without my tarp pole. And let me tell you how the boss is conspiring with this shit. I told you, I could prove a lie in a minute. Because I untarps. Now I told my boss, if that was true what he said, that I had pulled out of here without my tarp pole, it was laying over there. That means when I got to the tipper, I wouldn't have been able to untarp. I would have had to dump it tarp. Then that means when I got back here to line up at the pit, I still wouldn't have been able to untarp. 
because I don't have no pole, which meant I'd have been walking around here looking for a pole. But did my boss do anything? No. He sit there and let him come in there and tell him that lie. But let me tell you what I saw the day before it came up missing. <clears throat> I see him when he be talking to the new girl. Now I ain't accusing nobody here, but I'm telling you what I saw. The day before it came up missing. I remember seeing her coming out the, out the, out the building. The turk man, as I call him, was over there across the way. And I seen her walk out of there over there to him. And I have seen him talking with her. And I have seen him helping her with her trailer. Doing stuff with her for a trailer. Little overly helpful stuff. I have seen that. Now, I don't know who took my tarp pole. Nobody fessed up to it. But he stood out there and tried to make me look like I was a liar. Like I had left my tarp pole. And then, on top of that, he walked his ass in there to the boss and told the boss a story that he watched me drive out of there. And left my tarp pole, which is impossible. That meant I would have not been able to unroll it to tarp, to dump. And I would have had to tarp, dump it tarped. Then when I got back to the yard, I still need a tarp pole to unroll it to get it loaded. It was a lie. And that's what I noticed. They do this shit and go in there and tell a lie about it. And, but he just keeps lying. Who were you covering up for? Who took the tarp pole that you were covering up for? And then you're going to lie. Then you're going to take it and lay it over there where we normally tarp at. Like I had pulled out here without it. I don't never leave my tarp pole. I do the same routine around my truck when I'm tarping after I get loaded in that pit. I do the same routine with ends with me putting the tarp pole back in the hooks and then I go to the back and ratchet in those back two straps and the one on the side then I go to the front the side do the string then I go to the front I do the same routine so I don't leave my tarp pole I never have left my tarp pole Ever since I've been there over a year. Somebody took the perp pole. Why would you do that? That's a result of drivers coming in. Not asking permission or checking with the boss. Whose trailer is this before you start taking shit? But that's the lie he told. A lie. Yet again, the boss ain't do shit. And his boss talking to me about inappropriate behavior, the arguing. No, you're not going to come up to me and talk to me like he did. And all I did was ask you, well, I need a tarp rope, a, a rope put on this tarp. I didn't say nothing out the way. I wasn't yelling, probably had to put some strength in my voice because my voice was gone. I ain't say nothing out the way to him. He blew up at me. Till I ain't fucking with you no more. And since we're telling shit and I'm not there. Remember when I first hired in there? This guy. Now. Made a harassment statement. I'm new. I ain't been there but a couple of days. This guy is trying to invite me. The liar now. The one that started all this. Trying to invite me to his apartment already. I'm brand new there. That's harassment. I just got there. I ain't say nothing. I laughed it off, brushed it off. But it seems like he copped an attitude ever since then because of the rejection. 
And my boss today telling me that he, the guy said he was staying away from me because we don't get along. And no, ain't we don't get along. You talk a lot of bullshit that you get away with. You like, every time I say something to you, it's an argument come out your goddamn mouth. If I say, him, ask him to do something, to fix something on the trailer that he's supposed to fix, I got to brace myself for the bullshit his ass about to say. And I'm sick of that. I'm not going to be walking around there, can't ask you to do your damn job. Listen to you tell me, go go ask the boss. If the boss tell me to fix it, then I'll fix it. That's your job. Why the fuck I got to ask the boss to, for you to do your damn job? He did that shit one day and I had to tell the shop guy that he did that. Told me to go ask the boss to do it. If the boss says, okay, he going he gonna to fix it. What? Let me try that. Well, I, I can't drive this low because he won't fix the shit. Tell him to go ask the boss. Should I go ahead and go ahead and drive the low because he and, 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 cause he ain't going to fix this? Go tell the boss. If the boss tell me I can drive the load, I can drive the load then. That's the kind of shit he do. Holding me up. He'll sit there. And sit there. And sit there. Till he decide to go fix something. That's when I ask. Not when the other guys. Other guys, he read on it. That place is nothing but men. He recently hired a new female that actually made it through the training and stayed there last. Ain't had no damn accident as of yet. Before that, I was the only other female that came in there recently. Besides the one that's already there. On water truck. It's nothing but a bunch of men. But I noticed since that girl has been there, the shit these motherfuckers been doing, the shit they been saying. And I've been noticing how that girl acts. She act like she running past, like she afraid of something. Even today when I came out from having a conversation with the boss, with his boss on the phone, she's still sitting there in the pit in her truck. I know she loaded by now. I've been in there long enough for her to been loaded and pulled out. The girl walk around there like she afraid or scared or something. Why are you walking around there like that? And I noticed that. And I want to know what the fuck have them guys been saying up there? But I do know all this shit started when that girl got there. And I've seen this guy that got into it with me. I've seen him talking to her. Being overly friendly with her. And he got a real nasty attitude toward me. And he's been had that. And he wasn't the only one up there like that. I'm out of there. I quit. I'm not deal with that. I'm a professional driver. Those drivers you hired in there ain't barely got any damn experience. Ain't got enough experience that I got. I don't tolerate lies. I don't like a boss to lie on me. I don't like co-workers conspiring to get rid of me because you want to keep the new girl up there. Well, you can have her. I'm out. You're not going to lie on me anymore. You're not going to cause a confrontation and turn around and talk about my behavior. This is not one truck plant. And I told you, I've been warning people all through my social media for years. The next time an employer try to do that shit, it ain't going to go down the way you think it is. You can think you one truck plant. I'm going to remind you, you ain't. You ain't going to be doing that shit. I'm the professional driver. I quit. Bye-bye.